Woo, baby, we are back on crab. I tell you what, guys, you can't get enough of a good thing, and I'm gonna tell you right now, crab has been such a good lake that we have decided that we're gonna stay on it a couple more days. Um, fishing's just fantastic. I think it's great, you know, a great test and a great, you know, trial run for Darbone, really, is what it is. And I get to use the Savage 13, which of course is the, is the, uh, it's an incredible rod, but I don't get to use it on my home lake, so I'm gonna stick it out here using Savage 13 because that's what we use in Darbone. We use it as a 15 footer typically there. Um, unless the fish aren't spooky, then we, do, we get right up on them with the 13. But here I get an opportunity to use the Savage 13, and it's just an awesome, awesome rod. So today, we're on Crab Orchard. We're putting big slabs in the boat. That is gonna happen for sure, and I am so thankful for the cloud coverage because let me tell you what, it's been smoking hot. Uh, and I think we're even forecasted today to get up to 97 again. Uh, but with that cloud coverage, I know that the morning is gonna be pretty uh, pretty nice. So thanks for joining me. Here we go, guys. Good episode on Crab Orchard. Fish going in the boat now. All right, guys, as we come uh, approaching this shot, uh, uh, as we approach this pile, <laughs> it's early in the morning, guys. Um, here's the Savage 13, guys. Savage 13. It's a 13 foot, footer, first and foremost, but there are two midsections you can add to it, a two or a three foot. And coming this fall, you'll see the new five foot section. Um, that allows you to transform this 13 footer into a 15, 16, or even an 18 foot rod. So essentially you're getting four rods in one. The Savage 13 at three pound fishing. You guys check that out. Let's get started. We're coming right up on the pile now. Boom, first fish of the day. <laughs> you gotta love crab band. You do have to pump it a little bit. You do have to jig it a little bit. Using that electric chicken, first good slab of the day. Solid, solid. There we go. Fish number two. Another solid fish. Wow. They just can't handle it. When you jiggle it just a little bit, boom some good fish coming right here nice little ball of them i went ahead and uh changed my depth a little bit to 20 foot just to see if it how what it does to impact my ability to pick out big fish which depth will always be the biggest factor all right we just got one of them we're gonna find out all right it's a good solid eater good solid eater awesome we are gonna keep some fish today for a fish fry and these are just solid fish guys just solid fish Another great fish right there. Woo, baby, this is not getting better. This is awesome. We're, we're, we're fishing with the crawdad right now with a pink 132nd ounce jig head. Um, also fishing with the Comet. This is my go-to pretty much on every lake now. Uh, optimized if I'm going to one of the bigger lakes. So check that out at Sniping Bay, no joke. Um, what I've got is about a, a, a number seven split shot right here. It's roughly around 10 inches off the bait and that's about it now that guy took it really super light um, so i am going to play around with colors a little bit so let's see this is that uh black and silver that we have on the website right here so we are going to try that and i'm going to put the uh the silver part down so that should be the first part that they see right there and this looks like we got a bunch of a bunch of that same fish right there just right on top of this pile barely touched it man but we got it woo baby good fish 
we're gonna go back to the e-frog we have had some experience there with e-frog e-frog is awesome so that's what we're gonna go back to let me um let me tell you a little bit a couple things about the setup if you guys have not been with three pound fishing this is an 8616 right here guys it's on a cornfield fishing mount a double one of those folding mounts from cornfield fishing gear they are awesome great customer service if you know me you know that's what i care about is customer service more than anything in the world but the 8600 series from um, garmin is fantastic love it um, but i tell people that are fishing on the regular um, the ultra series is probably my ultimate favorite if you're not in tournament fishing if you're not doing the the national trails i think the 12 inch ultra series is absolutely perfect um, but again if you want a bigger screen uh, you got to go somewhere if you want to stick with Garmin. Now, if you want to go to one of those other brands, you can uh, for bigger screens. Um, I prefer to stay with Garmin just because I love their customer service. You can't go wrong. Now, back here, I've got the crappie brakes going. Crappie brakes are rock solid, guys. Um, you don't need them to fish, but if you want your fishing experience to be the top, check them out at PTG. They will hook you up whether it's with crappie brakes or other brands they will install them send them to you they've got the ticket tell them three pound fishing sent you that always helps me out so but the savage is putting some heart into it good start to the day guys and i love the breeze the cool breeze because i know the temperatures are coming today big fish now we know they're crappie. Good night. Look at that freaking tank, guys. <laughs> Unbelievable. What's that going to measure? That could be... Make sure we got her. Mm, 225 227 wow that is a freaking stud what you gonna do about that that's awesome and there's like three more down there unbelievable hey thanks guys for watching i appreciate you stay tuned next episodes are going to be coming from crab orchard and uh we got some big ones down there that was a monster fish Woo, baby